What's up, Internet? If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that we're big fans of Deep Cool. In particular, their cooling technology. They've come out with a new line of AIOs. Hindi garun kabago, but this is their towards the future, moving forward line of AIOs. So they started with the LS series and then the LT, and now they have the LSSE. We ranked them actually in terms of price. The SE is supposed to be the cheapest, followed by the LS, followed by the LT. But Really, between the LS and the LSSE, there's not a lot of difference. The provided fans of the LSSE don't have rubber pads. They seem a little less solid, a bit more hollow. So, the build quality nila di ganun kaganda as the ones included in the LT and the LS. The RPMs of the SE and the LS are the same, although it uses less current for the SE version. The CPU block of the LSSE is an infinity mirror compared to more set design on the LS series. So actually very minor changes. The most important thing that we found consistent throughout this line of AIOs is that it cools very well. So these are all 360mm RAD AIOs. We've tried them on various CPUs both for testing in the videos as well as for our customers and across the board. We've been happy with their performance. But just for this video, let's do a head to head of all of these guys. The test bench we used is the same for the LSSE and the LS, but with a slight variation for the LT. For the LSSE versus the LS, we used an R5 17600X with an MSI Pro B650M A MOBO. And head to head, consistently, the LS does better, but only slightly better. So our usual test bench is we run Cinebench R23 for 30 minutes and then record the temperatures. The LS70 had an average temperature of 81.81 versus the LS720 SE with an average temp of 82.86, so around just roughly a degree. And this was basically consistent in all of the other tests that we saw. The LS cools just very slightly better compared to the LSSE. For all of the tests, we used an open test bench, so not enclosed in a case. The LT720 test differed just very slightly. We used the same CPU, 7600X, but with a different MOBO, a Gigabyte B650 Aero G. The results for the LT720 were better than the LS and LSSE, but not by much. With the LT720, we had an average temperature of 80 degrees and a max temperature kind of high actually at 86.1 degrees. So the more expensive you go, the better your performance but just very slightly. Now the 7600X isn't the hottest CPU but by no means is the coolest either. AMD's AM5 format is notorious for trying to get as much power from the system so that it can amp up the speed of the CPU, causing more heat. So especially for AM5 platforms, you want a competent cooler so your performance won't throttle. Both the coolers, the LS and the LSSE, handled that without any problems. So just from a price-to-performance perspective, the LSSE is supposed to come out cheaper, but for performance, it's just basically very, very slightly lower than the LS version. So if you're looking to save a few bucks, definitely just go for the LSSE. So bottom line, which should you get? And that really depends on how price conscious you are. If budget is the ultimate consideration, the LSSE will perform beautifully for the price. Now, if you want a little more bells and whistles, if you want a more solid fan, if you just want to go with the bandwagon that, well, you know, it's more expensive, so it should be slightly better, then the LT720 is an option. In terms of market segmentation, it's true that the lowest end performs slightly behind the mid and the high. But again, the difference is not that great compared to the pricing differences. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to how much more extra do you want to pay for a slight increase in performance. But specifically on the LSSE series, Deepcool does it again 
with a very affordable cooler with excellent performance. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.